Hello, today we will model induction machine in MATLAB Simulink. For this, we will use space phasor model of induction machine in a stator reference frame. In a stator reference frame, we have a stator voltage equation given by Vs equal to R1 Is plus L1 D by dt of Is plus L0 D by dt of Ir referred to stator, where Is is a stator current and Ir is rotor current. Vs is the stator voltage. Similarly, we have rotor voltage equation. Br referred to stator equal to R2 Ir referred to stator plus L2 D by dt of Ir referred to stator minus J omega L2 Ir referred to stator plus L0 D by dt of Is minus J omega L0 Is where omega is rotary speed in electrical gradient per second. And this is the expression for developed torque. Md equal to 2 by 3 into P by 2 L0 imaginary part of Is Ir refer to stator conjugate. To model induction machine, let us open MATLAB first. Once MATLAB is open, you can type open simulink. Then you will see this screen. Here you will click on new. Then you will see a blank simulink model file. So now we can start modeling the induction machine. So first we have to see what are the input to the induction machine. The input to the induction machine are three phase voltage source. So we go to sources. So here you can see this sine wave. We copy this and paste in our simulink file. We need three phase. So we use three sine wave. Here, you can double click on this. You will see this window. Change the amplitude to 230 into square root of 2. Frequency to 2 pi into t radian per second. Phase we will keep at 0 radian. For second phase, again, amplitude should change to 230 square root of 2. Frequency. 2 into pi into 50 and phase is minus 2 pi by 3 for phase 3 amplitude 230 square root of 2 frequency 2 pi 50 phase minus 4 pi by 3 so now we have three phase sinusoidal voltage source. So now we will convert these three phase sinusoidal signals to alpha beta signals. For this, we will multiply phase two and phase three with minus half and add it with phase one signal. Now this signal is alpha component of voltage space phasor. To find the beta component of the voltage space phasor, we take phase B and phase C voltage signal, take the difference of them and then multiply with square root of 3 by 2. This is the beta component of voltage space phasor. Now you can use real imaginary to complex block to convert alpha beta signal to a phasor signal. This is voltage phasor signal. And this is a complex variable. You can select all these and right click and put it in a subsystem, create subsystem from selection. And say this is three phase to two phase transformation block. Change the name to B1. 
B2. And B3. Now we have voltage signal. And let's assume this signal is current signal. This is nothing but Vs minus R1 Is. Now let us do the same thing for rotor circuit. But in the rotor circuit, the applied voltage is zero. That can be modeled in this way. Then we subtract R2 IR from VR. So this signal is VR minus R2 IR. In this we have to add J omega L2 IR refer to stator as well as J omega L naught IS. Let us see how to do that. Let us assume this signal is electrical speed. So this signal is J times omega. Multiply this with L naught IS. Then we have to add J omega LR IR. So, so now this signal is VR minus R2 IR plus J omega L naught IS. And this signal is VR minus R2 IR plus J omega L2 IR plus L naught IS. So now we have Vs minus R1 IS and Vr minus R2 IR plus J omega L2 IR plus J omega L0 IS. That is nothing but L1 d by dt of IS plus L0 d by dt of IR and L2 d IR by dt plus L0 d by dt of IS. And we have to find out what is d by dt of IS and d by dt of IR because these are the states. Because IR and IS, they are the states of the machine. So now we have two unknowns, IS and IR, and two equations. So how do we solve this? We multiply this with L2 and multiply this with L0 and subtract. So what we will get? We will get L1 L2 IS minus L0 square IS. And then whatever is the resultant, we divide that with L1 L2 minus L0 square. Then we will get T by DT of IS. So let us see how do we do that in MATLAB. Multiply this signal with L2. Multiply this signal with L0. Subtract them. Multiply this signal by 1 divided by L1 L2 minus L0 square. This signal is nothing but derivative of IS. But this is a complex signal, so we have to find the real and imaginary part of this. So we use complex to real and imaginary. Put the integrator at its output. Here we will get alpha component of the stator current and here we will get beta component of the stator current. Convert this into a complex variable using this block. This is nothing but complex state variable 
of stator parent. Similarly, we find rotor current multiplied with L1. This signal multiplied with L0. Resultant is divided by L1, L2 minus L0 square. This is nothing but dir by dt convert into real and imaginary part integrate its output to get alpha and beta component of the rotor current Convert this IR alpha and IR beta to complex variable. And connect it to this signal IR. Now we are almost done. The only variable which is left is omega electrical. So let us see how to do that. To calculate rotary speed, we have to find the developed torque. Let us see how to do that. The developed torque is 2 by 3 times P by 2 imaginary part of IS IR conjugate. So this is IS signal and this is IR signal. So we have to find IR conjugate. For conjugate imaginary part has change in sign. So we multiply minus 1 in the imaginary part of IR. So this signal is IR conjugate. This is IS IR conjugate. We have to find the imaginary part of this. So this is the imaginary part of IS IR conjugate. We have to multiply 2 by 3 P by 2 multiplied by L naught in this to get the developed torque. Developed torque minus slope torque developed torque minus slope torque will give you the net torque. So this is the net torque. Divide by inertia will give you the acceleration. If we integrate this signal We will get the speed but that speed is in mechanical so we multiply p by 2 in this then we will get speed in electrical so this is omega electrical here i have assumed friction coefficient to be zero, but we can include that as well. Now we have included the friction coefficient as well. The unused signal can be terminated using terminator block. We can put these mechanical equation in, in a subsystem. We can put the scope on a speed signal the stator current signal and the rotor current referred to stator these are the output of the system you can go to model in model setting you can select the stop time to be 5, solver selection to fix step, solver to Runge Kutta. In solver details, typically I use 
0.1 millisecond or 100 microsecond. Click OK. You can try to run this simulation. Click on Run. Now the simulation is running. You can see the output. So this is the speed response. This is the current. You can see it draws a large amount of current at the beginning because we are doing direct online start. This is the steady state current in alpha beta reference frame. This is the steady state rotor current. This is how we simulate the induction machine. Thank you.